that heat, ayy. Alright, so welcome to the first episode of Many of the Dud Journal Podcast. I'm here with Mike, CEO of Phyllis Boys. Stop, bachelor of Phyllis Boys. Alright, welcome. Alright, so before we get started, uh, how was the committal here? Oh yeah, we was chilling and shit, listening to Diablo and shit. Mm-hmm. Some shit that ain't hit the streets yet. Yeah. Going crazy. Yeah. Type shit. Chilling and shit. How you feel about the studio? Shit, the studio is lovely, yo. I like what you're doing here, bro. For real, for real. Yeah. It's a up for real. It's loud. Um, want to give you your flowers because, of course, we'll start, start, start another story about um how this all started and shit. But um, without y'all like being the first, like the first people that was on the journal and shit, believing in the vision and um, like pushing me to take it a step further and go to the video shit. I appreciate y'all for sure. Um, we appreciate you. And then for yeah, sure, of course. All right, so let's get straight to the questions. All right, so for this is for both of you, Mike, I want you to go first. Knowing what you know now about life, what would you tell the childhood version of yourself and why? Let me know if you want me to repeat that. Shit, I tell myself, take everything for granted. Like, shit ain't game. Like, life really is serious, bro. Like, shit ain't no game. That's all I can really say. Every chance that you could take, take it. Don't really play around. I say this shit all the time, like, if I knew what I knew now when I was in high school, bro, I'd probably have so much shit like than what I got now. Like, mm-hmm. for me, I'd be in a whole different predicament. But I'm thankful for everything, though. I'm saying stuff like take all your opportunities and don't be scared. Cause when I was younger, I was scared to like try and know stuff because mm-hmm. of what others would think. Yeah. Mike, how important is fashion to you? Shit. <laughs> fashion is a part of me, bro. Mm-hmm. Shit, not even just fashion. Like, just being cool, bro. Like, shit is deeper than just putting clothes on, bro. Like, shit is a part of me, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, when I ain't had money, I was doing this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, money is just making it better. It's making it look better. Making me feel better. But I always been getting fly, bro. When I had no money in my pocket, niggas was for me. Figure out how niggas gonna get them feet that niggas on it all, you feel me? Niggas gonna get that overlay of feel me on that on the top, you feel what I'm saying? Like fitteds and shit like that, nigga. Niggas was dicing and shit, doing stupid shit, trying to get money for an outfit gang, and niggas won't have no money in their pocket. So uh-huh. this shit deep and it's just me loving fashion, bro. You have a story um like to share with us in regards to like how like the deaths that you went into just to put like a fire outfit together anything that anything i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie it's not really nothing crazy but like shit niggas will go to like nah i ain't gonna say that (laughs) like everything is like some crazy weird shit so i don't want niggas on my you feel me but i'm gonna just say some shit like i'll probably like call like a lot of like family members and shit mm. like some school shit probably get a little for me 50 for me <laughs> but all my grades and shit was bad like i was barely passing like i was getting 65s and shit Fair. lying bro for me i was i was i was screenshotting niggas grades in, in my school like taking oh, pictures yeah, of this shit yeah. showing niggas showing my family nigga they gave me 50 cash 100 cash <laughs> those, were the, those were the outfits came from <laughs> this were, those were the outfits came from no cap like mm-hmm. You feel me? But you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that's crazy. Stop. How yeah. important is fashion to you? <laughs> it's very important. Like every time I step out, I feel like I gotta be fly because I got like a reputation, and like I be on the slow run, like two AM type shit, mm-hmm. and I be like, let me just throw my Balenciaga. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's that ass. Because like, because I feel like no, but I don't want to be seen like. I was like, as a bum fit, you feel me? Because, uh-huh. like, people are used to seeing me as fly. And, like, I feel like if I come out with a bum fit, somebody going to try to record me on some funny shit. They go and really text me, yeah. bro. Send me a video of what you're wearing, bro. Just walk in, bro. Yeah. Any time in the day. You know what I'm saying? This is the thing about him. He makes me do shit that I wouldn't even do. Like, he told, like, he told me, yo, bro, 
I'm gonna get this sweatsuit gray, right, but I want you to do a sweatsuit for me. I want it gray, and then I want to put silver on the gray. I'm like, bro, it's not gonna show. He yeah, said, bro, yeah. just do it. He said, and another thing, put lift fast diamond on the back in black. I didn't even question. I said, bro, fuck it. Like, yeah. this made it, you wore it, and it was crazy. Mad niggas was just like, bro, I need that. I need that. Yeah, need after, that. after, like, you recorded me and posted me on the story, my man seen it. My man's from Connecticut. He oh, said, yeah. I need that same exact. <laughs> no cap. He had it, like, two more days after that. I mean, yeah. So, I mean, it shows the, um, the impact that I got that people just want what y'all wearing and shit, and they want to they wanna dress like y'all and be That's like y'all type shit. So. When customers purchase a garment from you, how do you want them to feel? Shit. When they purchase some shit from me, I want them to feel cozy, man. Swayze, man. I mean, everybody got to feel Swayze. It's like, it's like a family tree type shit. You were part of the family after that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. My shit is deeper than just a clothing brand, bro. Like, mm. this shit is a real family. You feel what I'm saying? Like, once you got some feathers, you were feathers, bro. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Simple as that. Um, style. Yeah. If you wanna um speak a little bit about that, like when you promote clothes or when you like um share flyers that might um post and stuff, like how do you want um customers and potential customers to react to that? I want them to react. Like what's the reaction you're looking for? Like on some, this song we never seen before. You feel me? Cause like. Not on no next shit or nothing. Nobody do it like fearless boys. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Cause like, I see other like not even trying to sugarcoat or nothing. I see other brands they be on some fast <laughs> shit, but niggas be copying. You feel me? So I'm saying if y'all copying that, what makes you know y'all not copying fearless? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, that's my a reaction. fact, bro. That's a fact for real. We spoke about that. You feel what I'm saying, niggas? Niggas like <clears throat> I, don't, I don't knock no not no nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Like like I said, but. It's, 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 it's brands that pay, that's charging these people so much for low quality work. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm giving niggas what I can give niggas because where my, where my hand is in the cookie jar right now, bro. Once I'm really in where I want to be and comfortable, I'm giving niggas full quality, low, like the pricing is going to match the quality of the work, bro. Mm -hmm. Niggas is selling $70 hoodies, bro, at course. Not going to blow nobody's shit, but for me. And it's not even better. Uh -huh. So it's like, if you could purchase that, you just, what you're not purchasing my shit for, like, mm -hmm. it don't matter though. Uh, I like that, because it goes hands in hand with what Diablo is saying, something that's predicated. Because what you're doing is, you have your quality in your, in your design and stuff, and then you also making it affordable to your audience. Because, exactly. you know, you, if we if we keep it in the buck, you sell to a lot of people that live in the P's, live in the Bronx and shit. Niggas is not rich, so for you to be able to do that and even think think like that, because you said that oh that um, that's something you want to do in the future. That, that that's really tough, right? There. It plays hand in hands in every aspect, like especially with the music shit. Uh -huh. You feel me? It, it's really all about like clout. Mm -hmm. yeah, you feel sure. me? Like Diablo's best nigga. I ain't gonna lie, like. Mm -hmm. Prior that I've been here on underground in the city for a dumb long now, bro. And I'm not even just saying that, that was my man's or not, bro. And that's on everything I love. It's niggas that's whack, that's buzzing more than him. That's what I'm trying to say about the clothes shit, bro. It's all about who you are. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's why I really took off my personal page. So it's like niggas see about Fizz Boys and they be like, who run it? Mm -hmm. yeah. They go to me, they be like, oh, I know this nigga, I don't mean to rock with this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be hating, bro, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas hate you, bro, you know what I'm saying? And it's like the same thing with you, when you first met me, you didn't expect to be this, you was like, yeah, bro, I didn't even know you was this cool from what I heard, no, some shit like that. I'm like, see, like, in the back of my head, I'm like, but I don't be caring, bro, my head always high, because I know who I am. Uh-huh, I'm for you. You feel me? All right, next question. <clears throat> Are you satisfied with the success you've enjoyed uh, so far? And what steps do you feel you need to take to reach whatever success is for you? For sure. I'm definitely um, proud of where I came because every goal that I set out, it, it actually came. Mm -hmm. Like, especially when I was telling y'all, when we did the last interview in the park that haven't got filmed and nothing never got out. Um, when we was talking, I told y'all, I said, yo, bro, before January hit, before the one year anniversary hit, I need a certain amount of follows. And it happened. Oh, yeah. Everything I was saying now, it was happening. It was like for me. And I be getting so much love and shit, bro. I'm, I'm proud of where I've been. 
for me because I used to, I was a whole different person before. I never think I'd be even doing shit like this. Bro. Mm. Well, I always knew I was going to do shit like this. Like, this is what I always wanted to do, but I never knew it was going to be this good. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But, yeah, it was old to me because I remember days in Eagle Lega, me, Diablo, another nigga, we don't really rock with him, but mm. we used to just talk about this shit in class. I used to just be designing this shit in class, and I used to be like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, this is what niggas is gonna do. Like, I'm gonna yeah. do this shit for real, full throttle. Once I got out of school, niggas did that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. niggas start acting funny after that. For sure, bro. Mm. Bro took off with music, bro. We going hand in hand, bro. We really on everybody's neck right now, bro. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's all. Sounds about right. Gotcha. Um, Stan, same question. How how do you are you satisfied with the success of the brand, and what do you feel like you have to do to to reach what success is for you? I'm very satisfied. Like coming from someone like me, being an ambassador, I'd be like sharing it. And like since I used to live in Connecticut and shit for like a few, like a lot of my Connecticut mans be on. Like they be in tune. Like mm -hmm. they be they really be fucking with it. And like they don't even they don't even know. They don't know that I don't run the brand. Mm -hmm. They just know I'm the passion and they just fuck with it to show love. On top of that, they love the creativity that it puts out. Gotcha. All right. And um, like, what, what have you what have you heard from your man from like Connecticut? Like anything like that stands out? Cause they make dope clothing too. Hell yeah. Don't get this. Don't get it twisted. We talk about them all the time. Um, yeah. If they was in the city. They are having a lot. That's a fact. Because they're really hands on with their products, bro. Uh -huh. That's a fact. Everything is handmade. Like, this, I right, was this right here, I got it from my Connecticut kind of man. For, for sure. Oh, okay, for gotcha. sure. Hands, so it's it's all that, bro. And it's different, too. It's yeah, not yeah, like you like, just like, doing a design on the it's, 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 it's really art. Uh, like, they're really artists, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Because like, they got the time. Like, yeah. they in Connecticut. Yeah, fact. They in the middle of nowhere, right? Yeah, yeah, that's how I be saying. I be like, y'all got the time. Y'all, like, y'all not really busy. You feel yeah. me? Uh -huh. Y'all got me in time and y'all bored. You feel me? Yeah. So y'all got me in time to be in the lab. It's a me? lot of niggas that's like that in Connecticut, though. Yeah, me? So I don't really think of it like that. I think of it more like they're really artists and they really love to do yeah. what they want to do. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like, like me, bro. Like, niggas would be in the crib freestyling and then niggas would just be coming up with designs out of the blue, just really getting hands on with our work. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of niggas don't do that. A lot of niggas is getting paid designs. Like, they pay niggas to do their designs. They getting manufactured work. I'll show you my Phyllis Boys Metro request right now. You're going to see at least like 30 manufacturers texting me. Mm -hmm. okay. Like, they want to work. They want to work. I do everything myself, down to the designs, everything. Even a couple people, like, Three people that own brands came to me and paid me to do some designs for them. Oh, wow. You feel me? For their drops, you feel what I'm saying? Like, shit like that, bro. Everything be just be off the top. Mm -hmm. No help. You feel what I'm saying? It'd be inputs. You feel what I'm saying? But it's really more about loving what you do. Yeah. A lot of people just in it for the, for the moment and the money. Mm -hmm. For me, this is more like a, a fucking <laughs> job. Yeah. A job, not a job, job. career, yeah. career. Yeah, definitely. One that you enjoy too. It doesn't, it doesn't really feel like work. That's yeah. a fact, for sure. So I remember when we spoke, um, in August, basically, that you were like, f as a at, at that point in time, Style was the only brand ambassador, and you were kind of hesitant in bringing someone else on board. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know what I'm getting at, Taylor. Taylor, right? Okay. So my question: well, What was the thought process in bringing him along as a brand ambassador? Now, before you answer. Um, I don't know him personally, but I used to see him in Eagle like when me and Monty was in middle school. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he carried himself similar to you. Like, he's mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Like, he don't really care about other people's thing. Mm -hmm. And then I was looking at his Instagram, uh, like, right after, uh, I guess you announced him as a brand yeah. ambassador. And I, basically, I wasn't surprised. I was like, <laughs> you know, I'm not surprised. I, I, I don't even feel like I gotta explain myself. I'm not surprised you chose him, but I want to get it from your point of view. Why did you choose him to be a brand ambassador? Um, that's, that's my brother. Like, it, it was like, I I say this shit is all about brand. We we it's like a family type shit. You feel what I'm saying? But I just wanted to give him like a space and a table, like because when they get down to business for me, it's gonna get down to business and niggas need a role to play. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like he always helped me, bro. That's like a real big brother to me. He always been there through whatever situation and shit. And we both in this fashion shit together. Like, you feel me? You can see he's a stylish person and shit. Yeah. He's dropping his own brand soon too. Um, 
I ain't gonna say no names. I don't want him to get yeah, killed. Yeah, you can't get it. You just gotta be there. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. um, yeah, bro, it's more of a family tree type of shit. You feel what I'm saying? I just had the label in there with us. Gotcha. Now on top of that, my son, like every time, like we say we about to drop, he be like, get on it. Like, yeah, you feel know I me? Mean? Yeah, for he sure. Be like, don't, don't hold shit out. Like, yeah. put it out. Like they want to see it because he's coming from like a interview, looking on the outside. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So like he's saying it's fire, like drop it, do this, do that, like do what you wanna do. Yeah. Cause everybody's gonna cop regardless. Mm -hmm. Alright, bro, fuck with that. How would you describe the lifestyle of a fearless boy? Fearless. Good question. Swayze. Swayze, fearless. What else? That's a good question. Shit, man. lifestyle of a fearless boy, man. Yeah. Shit, hey ha, Swayze. You gotta be cool as fuck. Uh -huh. Doing, doing, <laughs> doing, bro. You gotta be cool. <laughs> fuck, yo, bro. It's like we met some dude on the train, some white dude. Yeah, he ran down. He ran down on me, bro, because of my fit. We got it. You got it on dude. film too. Pause. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a <laughs> pause. Pause for real. Pause. Oh, sure. pause, sure. pause. <laughs> nah, pause. No playing. Pause. <laughs> Listen, um, bro, bro ran down on me. We was vlogging and shit, cause you know we be vlogging yeah. and shit like every day and shit. So we, 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 we chillin', I think we was- Y'all gonna see the vlog, man. Yeah, y'all gonna see the vlog. <laughs> I seen the that. last one drop yesterday. I'm gonna see the yeah. vlog, fuck that. Y'all gonna see it in the vlog. He's mad cool. He follow me, he's a fearless boy, for real. Mm -hmm. yeah. He be trying to pull up on us and all that. Like, in the hood. Okay. okay. Me? Yeah. He's yeah. a white nigga, like. White boys is fearless, though. They I'm gonna tag him. They don't, they, don't, they don't be getting it. Like, they don't I'm gonna tag him so they can see his yeah. shit. Shout out to him. What's his name? Uh, I don't know. But his IG like big boy hype or some shit. Yeah, like that. He resells shit. Hype. He resells shit. Everything you need. Erica Manu shorts and shit. Supreme shit. All that. He really a white nigga. Like he's in tune for real. Must have got off the train with it. But feel this boy to me, like ruthless type shit. You just feel this like every day. You you just doing what you want to do. What you want to do, bro. Yeah. Without wanting to hear people's opinions. Yeah. No fake shit behind your your anything. Any any actions. You 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 love who you are. You are who you are. Yeah, my favorite. Feel me? Come on, almost can. Exactly. I find that funny. I mean, perfect perfect definition. But I find it funny because when me and Stop text, um, <laughs> so every other day you probably know, but every other day he sent me some st statistic about the Melo Ball and how this nigga scored like a hundred points or some shit, and then he be trying to tell me like, yo. If anybody try to like disagree with me, I'ma punch the shit out of them. So then, right? That sounds like crazy. Yeah, that's and I'm thinking, like I was like, why would you say that, bro? <laughs> so I'm thinking, I am like, yo, there go that fearless boy shit. <laughs> <laughs> he don't care, right? He don't care what niggas think. He don't punch. Yeah. No, this nigga crazy. Man. That, that sound like him though. For for no reason though, like that sound like him. Yeah, we trying to tell you, yo, bro, I agree with you, bro. You don't have to punch me, man. My boy just nah. woke up and chose violence. <laughs> bro, that's what I'm saying. Nah, he woke up and chose violence. violence. Nah, cause I sent I sent him like a clip of like um. Basically, Lamelo boy, he shot a three and he did like the um the mellow celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the commentator was like, "Oh, wow, why are you doing his celebration? That's not even yours. Be be yourself. Like be yourself. Find your own celebration." And I sent it to him on some tight shit. I'm like, "Why are you sucking me, dick?" <laughs> 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 no, that was no nigga crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. How do you balance being humble and being cocky when it comes to your brand? Shit. That's a good question. That's a good question. I mean, he told me to come with um, you. Shit. Being humble, balancing it from being cocky. Um, Just don't post. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, watch the way you post. Watch the way you post. Like I'm starting when, to get into that. When I used to be going crazy. Yeah, I really used to be going crazy. Like, that's why I'm saying every day I'm changing. So I really used to be going crazy. Like, I'll post some shit and talk mad shit, bro. <laughs> Man, shit, bro. They love that shit, though. Yeah, they did yeah, love drama. that shit. They love that shit, bro. They love that shit. But I've been chilling. Like, if I post, it's no caption. If I post, it's, it's just, I'm, I'm not even posting. Like, I don't post no unreleased shit no more. You feel me? Like, whatever I'm posting is what's coming next, though. Mm -hmm. So it's really like, shit, that's a hard question to answer, bro, to really get in depth with. Shit. It's all good. That's some shit. Yeah, I mean, he told me it that. is. That's some shit right there. You put there. the pressure on me. So. <laughs> That's some shit right there, bro. 
for me. Shit. I don't know. Fuck it. So let's move it to start. I guess um, to step away from Fearless Boys, um, for those of you that don't know, my man has a, a denim brand called Ascendant. I got yeah. it right. I got it right. Yeah, oh, cool. yeah, you did. Um, so the same question, but in regards to your brand, how do you balance being humble? You're not at the top yet, but you're going to get there. And being right. cocky, your shit is better than everyone else if we're being realistic. So how do you balance that? Um, basically, basically what he said, like, I just watch what I post. I used to go crazy like him. I used you, to, you, you're barely posting your shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Just watch what you post. That's how, in this, in this, in this, in this, in this, in this little, like, bracket, I'm going to say, like, with the fashion and shit, like, with the clothing and shit, it's really like it's not really about being cocky and humble. Like it's just like knowing what to post, what knowing what exactly. not to say, and what to say. Mm-hmm. That's, that's why I'm saying I can't really answer that question. Me on top of that, I just mm-hmm. I just stay off Instagram. Like, I be taking Instagram breaks. Yeah, because I be seeing certain shit that just get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I went ghost. Yeah, certain shit be getting me tight. I be seeing like people I know that don't show love to me, mm-hmm. but show love to someone else. Yeah, just a celebrity. Just, yeah, just cause they got a bigger name than me, I'd be like, "What the hell? Like, what is you? What is you doing? You look mm-hmm. stupid." Bro. They'll share a celebrity song. Yeah, I post something, shit, they wouldn't yeah. share my shit. That's or, what I'm saying. You probably experienced this. They tell a hey, boogie happy birthday, and then you, Yo, ask, for, you ask for comments on your shit, Yo, and you post, bro, and no one comments. Exactly. Or they, or they don't comment. That's what I'm saying. Bro. Bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm, li- I'm living this. Like we all yeah, live the same life, gang. Like. <laughs> I kid you not, I seen a nigga say happy but, birthday but it's, it's cool, to A Boogie, bro. <laughs> I seen a nigga say happy birthday to A Boogie. Pause. I say, Pause yo, bro. I say, yo, bro. <laughs> what the fuck you mean, happy birthday? <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't responding to you, bro. Mm. Share my shit, nigga. I'm gonna put my fucking footy in there. Oh, nah, nah it's, it's cool, though, because when I'm up, I'm gonna see everything. I be mad, bro. I'm gonna see I be everything. Mad, bro. Yeah, I be, I be, bro. I'm sweet. I be muting niggas. <laughs> I be muting niggas Instagrams. That's and, right. And I'm following them. But <laughs> 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 okay. uh, uh, I followed you. You know why? Uh, fuck niggas. <laughs> These niggas is petty. No, no I, be, I be going for that sometimes too. Cause um, being in college and shit, you got a lot of people that's in the similar lane than me trying to make a name for themselves and they brand. And y'all, y- y'all probably see my story. I'm always sharing somebody's shit. Yeah, probably, right. you have it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Probably, you know, just to show support on Polly, because, okay, when it's my turn, I expect the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like a 50 50. Some people share it, some people don't. I'm like, then what am I doing? But yeah. I just try to be humble because it's like, you, because you can say, oh, they don't share your shit. But there's sometimes where, like, behind the scenes, they might be reading your shit or they might be watching what y'all have going on. And they got somebody, or they probably re- refer your brand to someone else, or they, you know. I don't know about that, but the first shit is definitely a fact. Like I yeah. know people watching, I know people speaking on it. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like, why do it behind the scenes if you already press the follow button and see everything I do? Right. We're 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 engaged on social media. Mm. Like you're just gonna sit there and watch everything I do, and talk about it to whoever you want to talk about it to, even if it's positive or negative. Support, nigga. This is what you have a, a social media for, right? Yeah, you raise that way. Feel me? A lot of people play around on social media and not knowing that this is where niggas come to get rich. Bro, like, bro. you feel what I'm saying? Tight like, shit. people post fuckery. <laughs> like, bro, mm-hmm. you don't know what a shit could do, bro. A mm-hmm. shit could go a long way, bro. That's how I was at the beginning. A shit was saying. a long way. I you remember, um, I told them the other day on the train. Oh, I was on the train, and um. What's your name? Jaru son. Jawan from Eagle. Mm-hmm. I think, I don't know, some, some one of his mans. No, shit, the, my flick. Okay, okay. One of the Chapmans. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, I think okay. shit, my flick or some shit. And like, I don't know if it's from the share or the or explore page. For me, it's one of them. Because I know they follow each other, you feel me? That's what I'm going to say. So, um, shit, my flick. And then Jaru son peeped it. Okay. Yeah, Jaru son peeped it. Mind you, that nigga got Drake on the ground. Yeah. Drake followed that nigga. Exactly. Oh, shit. He peeped it. You know what I'm oh, saying? Shit. And now we following each other and we cool people. So. Yeah, now we just chopping it. I'm sitting yeah. in clothes and shit. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he be showing show. love too. Shout he out to him. Love, he, he wanted to get in a photo shoot, gang. Yeah, shout out to my son, Aaron Center, man. He wanted to get in the photo shoot. Mm-hmm. We need to. We need to. He have was going to get him, but he in LA and shit. Yeah. But when he come back. It's a lot of people that we. It's a lot of people that I got working with right now. But they just 
really high up type shit, like 20K followers, models and shit. Like some girl be with SZA, bro. Mm. Like they got each other on the gram and shit. And I was supposed to have her in this upcoming shit. But for me, she ain't gonna be in the city. There's a lot of shit going on. Like shit happening fast as fuck though. You yeah, know? It happening fast as fuck is all I can say. Yeah, we, we gonna go to the next question. I like where this is going. <clears throat> Stop, we're gonna hit you first. Mm -hmm. Where's the most unexpected place you received advice from? And if you were comfortable sharing, what was it? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Might Shit. put the pressure. I gotta really think though. Um it might so you can go first. first. Somebody I thought that didn't like me at all. Mm. Like someone that I fell out with hit me up and gave me advice on. The brain and wanted like reached out to me and really touched up with the shit I've been doing and shit like that. So I guess that that's a good answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. yeah well, um, like a, basically like a hater. Oh yeah. Somebody that I fell out with over hater and shit. For me. I don't really got an answer. To if, that. if you don't mind speaking on it, how's your relationship now? Is it still the same or yeah, yeah, cool. I mean, it was just like an out of the blue thing. Mm. I haven't really spoke to the person. And how do those interactions make you feel like, okay, somebody that... Like I'm doing something? It make me feel good as fuck. Uh -huh. I yell. Like I just, I do a lot of outbursts, bro. You can ask these niggas, like I be wild. Like in the car, I just be doing mad, dumbass gunshots and shit. <laughs> Yelling and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Boop, boop. Hey, we're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got to do it and get started. I'm like, a clown, bro. Uh, let's go to the next question. I think I don't like this one. Um, I mean, just being around y'all, and I know Diablo could attest to this. You guys are very heavily inspired by uh, the UK, their artists, their fashion, yeah. stuff like that, right? Yeah, so I wanna, get me. I, I know I heard that. Up. I know get I heard me. That. Get up, fam. All right, so my question is, Style first, since he answered the first question first. What role does the UK play in your brand and also with your personalities? I say, like, they give me, like, energy, you feel me? Yeah, that's so lazy. Shit, I'm passed yeah. up because my boy's out like, in the yeah, UK right now. I'm, I'm, right now, bro. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking Swayze because of them, man. We talk right now. Real Swayze, you can't even see that's, me, but you want to be me. That's really, where this, <laughs> that's really where this next collection is heading for. It's like on some... Television yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta go to London. We gotta go. Yeah, we go. Everybody going to Miami. Yeah, my passport coming in, nigga. Go to London. Fuck Miami, nigga. <laughs> 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 Everybody, Miami, if I had a nuke, I blow that shit. <laughs> 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 Everybody going to Miami. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but yeah, crazy. next collection, yeah. next collection. Matter of fact, it's dropping today. Yeah, yeah, tune in. You know what I'm saying, first come, first serve, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> this that that inspired me, but I don't really go on the UK shit heavily. I ain't gonna lie, my favorite artist is from the UK though. Nancy Poe. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Hey! Yeah. This, is the best, this is my my opinion, the best time of the year. Yeah, Sarah Spring for yeah. sure. Yeah. And Aries, man. Aries show. No, so right. Like, Aries show. So <laughs> everything was going hands in hand. Like, oh, sister birthday. Oh, when, when is sister birthday? March 30th. Yeah. Yeah. How, Sounds about right. At the time of the recording, happy early birthday. Once this, <laughs> once this is released, I'm gonna send this to AZ. You hear this, man? No, and tell them kids go to fuck the sleep. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, April tenth is my shit. Lock it in. Oh mm -hmm. shit! Let's we'll see if we can drop the April tenth. Let's we'll see. But Lock um, it in, man. Yeah, that's that. Um, we gonna get into a little serious question. This question is inspired by you putting the pressure on me to try to ask questions that are aside from the fashion. So the question is, how, how right, so you have a brand, right? Um, and your job, <clears throat> aside, like for, for the consumer is to put everybody in dope COVID. Now that could be a job that gives you a lot of stress, that gives you a lot of performance anxiety. You want to make sure that what you're putting down is fire and is received sure. the right way. So with that being said, the question is, how is your mental health? Because that's... Zero to a hundred? <laughs> I was about to answer that. I'm not gonna Zero to 100 is gonna make it so easy for me to answer. Alright, so go. Shit. 50. Okay. I can give it a 50. A 50 for real. Cause we having the most swings, nigga. No, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas be going through some shit, bro. Mm -hmm. 
Niggas be going through some shit and making a lot of shit come to life at the same time. Like, but I feel like going through a lot of shit, matter of fact, 30 out of 100, going mm -hmm. through a lot of, going through a lot of shit makes what I do better. You feel me? Like, and that's obvious. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's like, that's when I'm in my mode the most. If I'm going through some shit OD in my head, bro, and then I'm just relapsing on some shit, I just turn the laptop on and just start designing some shit and it'll be so fire. Mm -hmm. I feel like Diablo could relate too. Mm -hmm. For me, it's that pain talk mm -hmm. type shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what niggas need. So I feel like when niggas go through shit they go through, I feel like that's when niggas know, like, yo, there's no way I could lose. Mm -hmm. Like, I already know I'm going up. Mm -hmm. The shit I'm going through is too crazy. Like, said. niggas wouldn't even, you feel what I'm saying? Niggas couldn't walk in these old fights right here. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying, bro? That's it's cool. like, I could go on about this, bro, because I really get in that burp when they're talking into that pain. Talk like, your shit. Like, for real, bro. Like, a nigga really be going through some shit, bro. And it's not something that people are always ask you either. It's not something that you for can't sure, talk about. For sure, bro. Because you A nigga that's seen so much, and then it's like, you would think that's the end right there, and then some other shit happened, and it's like, this shit never going in. Like, it's always going to be something up the devil's sleeve, my nigga. That's why I got Diablo right here, man. Mm -hmm. No cap, you on the right time. side, man. For sure. Text away. For me. Slider. For sure. That's what I was telling him, because even though he doesn't explicitly say that he's talking about uh, mental health in his songs, you know that he's talking about it by... Mm -hmm. The things that, like, when he says the things that be going through his head and shit. So, sure. I don't know. When I was, um, because I wasn't going to ask you this question, but I was go I was going for his question because I wanted to make sure that they was on par in regards to quality. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, it's, it's similar. Y'all niggas have a coding brain. Y'all have to do a whole bunch of shit. Uh, it's not easy going downtown every day. Even though it might look like it's uh, fun, y'all make it fun. Uh, it's not easy. Yo, mm -hmm. what? You just knocked the fucking shit off the top of the... Ropes. Hit it up the point like Dave Ruth, man. No cap, you just went in. That's really what it is. You feel what I'm saying? We make the best out of everything we do, gang. Mm -hmm. Like, niggas don't be wanting to honestly go downtown and, and, and work on clothes. Niggas don't be wanting to really wake up at 8 o'clock and go ship mad packages. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? With their own two feet and two hands. You feel what I'm saying? This shit really hard. Like, it's hard. Mm -hmm. But niggas love it so much that it beats the odd. You feel what I'm That's saying? Right. That's all, man. Mm -hmm. And niggas know it's, it's like I said, it's gonna be a greater outcome in the future with this shit. Yeah. To where I don't even gotta do anything hands on no more. All your work is gonna pay off. It's gonna make, all the hard right now is gonna make everything easier. Yes, you? sir. Yes, um, sir. Stars, you wanna speak on that a little bit? You want to help? Yeah, if, if you want to, it's up to you. Cause you, you've been a little quiet, I'm kinda scared. Uh, but, um, on mental health, I don't know, like, my son's good over there. No, I just, I just be having mood swings, but I just don't show it, you feel me? Because, like, I'm really, like, a listening type of nigga. I'm not a talking type of nigga. Like, I feel like if the more you talk, the more, like, you put your emotion out, you feel me? I feel like everybody in here could attest to that. Like, my yeah, son's really sure. not too much of a speaker you're not really a too much of a speaker yeah unless like you're really familiar with bro like, yeah bro you really got a goofy side but like nobody really niggas will never like, know you know what I mean you feel what I'm saying unless you're like real close to him like, you're right. Right. I feel like niggas is on, uh, helping him unlock his and it's like still like even that we so close to him like we still don't even see like, like all of that shit yeah yeah, yeah. bro that's all I'm gonna say bro that's that swayzy mentality. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm always <laughs> swayzy. Like, it's just a little bit. That's what it is, too. Yeah. That's like the 80% of it. Yeah, it's like, that's 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 me. Like, you feel me? Like, since I was young, bro, like, I'm going I'm to say this now because, like, nobody ever heard this. Like, my mom, she said it herself. Like, she said, I started speaking, like, talking, actually communicating mm -hmm. people at, like, a late age. Like, I started talking to, like, other people. Since I was four, we be on that anti-social shit. Yeah, like yeah. I be, I be moving like an inch with her. Like I don't like, I don't like being like too, too expressive, too like, social. Yeah, I feel like I feel I feel, feel trust I will be like that too. Like there's days where I want to go ghost and I don't want no one to talk to me, and there's days I want attention and shit. It's weird. I mean, I don't know if y'all feel the attention part, but you all like that. But I feel like that's just teenager shit. Yeah, that's just teenager shit. 
it's like like a teenage man days you want to go ghost and then there, but then you have a platform and you're in a profession i guess you have, you to, have stay to be you have to be alive, social yeah so i mean this, this is what we signed up for right? so mm -hmm. for sure mm -hmm. Lots of niggas come through swerve, can't roll with us, then we run you over. Yeah, lucky like a 